Six hour firefighters remain on the scene pouring water on the Walmart distribution facility in Plainfield. They've been there for more than 10 hours now, battling a huge fire. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Donaldson. And I'm Debbie Knox. Crews say the fire is under control now, and firefighters believe that it will not spread to any other buildings, but work is expected to continue into tomorrow. Now, you can see where this fire is on our map. Everyone in this area still urged to shelter in place. Firefighters just don't know if chemicals and the airborne debris are toxic. CBS 4's Eric Grave has been on scene all evening and has more now on how things look now compared to just a few hours ago. Crews are going to be working throughout the night on the fire here at the Walmart Distribution Center. You can see the flames a little bit more clearly now in the nighttime. What's left of the flames we can see at least in these tractor trailers out here. As far as the employees who are inside this facility, the ones we talked to say they are so thankful to have gotten out safely, but they just wonder what's next. 1,000 employees were inside of this Walmart distribution center in Plainfield when a fire broke out. Everyone made it out safely. That's when he said, hey, you still up there. You better rush outside now. There's fire. Hilda Namsanya has been with Walmart for two years. She says she works on the floor where the fire started. When she first heard the sirens, she thought it was just a drill. Then when I saw smoke, that's when I realized, oh my God, it's real fire. And I ran as fast as I could. First responders credit the smoke detection system and the plan in place for all of the employees getting out safely. Hilda credits past fire drills for how she got out safely, even when her closest exit was blocked. I saw a very thick uh, cloud of smoke. Then I thought I can't go through that smoke, it's just too much. So I had to use the other way. Once outside, many of the employees who thought the alarm was just a drill realized it wasn't. The flames was kind of low, about 50 feet above the building, but the smoke went up as far as you can see. David Johnson also works inside the facility. He says he thinks explosions were caused by flames reaching a battery room. When all the batteries started going off, you can see um, uh, you can see the flames and everything going up. Johnson and other employees made their way to a reunification site at a nearby Amazon facility where cars lined up to pick up loved ones. Well, I just want to get home now. What worries these employees now is where their next paycheck will come from. First, you're glad you're safe. Now you got to worry about where you're going to be working at and how you're going to get your car and what's going on long term. One minute you have a job and the next you don't know what tomorrow holds for you. So it's really depressing. When we last checked in with David and Hilda, they said they didn't know when they were going to be able to get their cars. So many of those cars still out here in front of this Walmart facility here. And as for their jobs, they also did not know what was next, just hoping for the best. As for what caused this fire, that is going to continue to be investigated throughout the night as crews continue to work on this fire. Reporting in Plainfield, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News.